Okay, now again, guys, the simpleness of this. All right. So what I want everybody to do is just listen to what I'm saying. Um, someone define what x squared means. X times x. X times x. All right. You don't have to write that down. Everybody knows that. All right. Now the reason why I'm saying that is because that defines quite easily. All right, what you're doing with exponents when you multiply. What is the rule when you multiply? What do you do to exponents? You add them. That's how easy. All right, I never understood why anybody would have any trouble with this. If you know that X squared means X times X, you know that when you multiply, what do you do to exponents? You add them. So if I said to you something like X squared times X cubed, you're never going to tell me that's X to the sixth. You're just going to tell me that's X to the what? That's X to the fifth. All right. That's all it is. All right. Now, in our lesson, we also, all right, have something like this. X squared to the third power. What is X squared to the third power? Sorry. Yeah, it is in fact X to the sixth. Now, how do I know it's X to the sixth? Because I know what X squared cubed means. It means x squared times x squared times x squared. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. And so what did we just learn? That when you multiply, what do you do to exponents? Um, you add them. So that's x to the sixth. So now you can look at the relationship and say, wow, anytime you have a power to a power, you multiply. That's it. Whenever you're multiplying, you add the exponents. That's all there is to it. All right, that's it. So if we start on number one, just hurry up and open it. I don't care. Just hurry up. You might as well. All right. So everybody's looking at number one. Y times Y to the fifth is what? What is it? Of course, it's y to the sixth, right? Because this y is to what power? To the one. Put that there if you didn't know that. All right. Now I'm on number three. I'm on number three. All right, we're going to do the odds. Now, what's in front of x to the fourth? The number one. Okay. You still are multiplying numbers. Yes, negative seven x to the what six. six that's it guys please do not make it hard now look down the page it progressively gets what it progressively gets harder for a reason all right if you can do these with me as we go down the page you'll be fine all right number five obviously that is just the x to the six Oh, sorry. Uh, M, to the sixth. M to the sixth. Perfect. M to the sixth. All right. Now let's take a look at number seven. Number seven. Everybody should be able to tell me. 16A to the third. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll just start on McKenzie now. It's been, it's been a while. All right. We'll start over there. We're just going to go up and down the rows and everybody will get a shot. All right. When we get to a harder one, I'll jump in if I need to. But right now, tell me what you're thinking about number nine. Um, what is number four? X, um, and then four, um, easy, easy, easy. Know the rules. Multiply numbers, add exponents. Multiply numbers, add exponents. Do not daydream. All right, don't write down my answers. You write your own answers. Right now, write the answer to number 11. And then Charlotte's going to tell you. Go. Twenty x to the 10th. 20 x to the 11th. What, what are you talking about, Oliver? So I go on. Don't you have to add one? To the... No. Oliver. Oh, only if it's not. Three plus seven. Yeah. All right. Now, 13. All right. 
Mr. Cappy, do the numbers first. So, Um, yes, which is just what? One. Thank you. I want everybody to put a one down. All right. Of course, you don't have to, but all right. Now continue with the variables, please. So then it would be one A, the third, and then B to the second, and then C to the second. You are amazing. Third. That's it. That's all there is. Now, of course, you're doing number 15. Is there, right? There's one number 15, all right? Write your answer to 15 while Sophia explains it to you. Go. You are amazing. Easy, pay attention. All right, now let's see if you remember what we just talked about. Jacob, number 17. You are amazing. Thank you for listening. Into the 28th. That is a power to a power, power to power, multiply. Okay, number 19. Thank you. Oh, now, Wilson, oh, yeah. okay. you're oh. doing this first, right? Because we're still doing order of operation. Yeah. Okay. So, so what um, is that? A to the third. Yes, sir. B to the 12th. Yes, sir. And in front of that, negative three. You are amazing. That's it. All right. Because remember, this is a one power to power. You're multiplying. All right. Any questions? Come on. Understand how you got 12 and how I got three. Oliver, can you just look at four and three? How do I make 12 with four and three? You multiply them. And how do I make a three with one and three? I don't understand. Oh, okay, wait, so you multiply eight? That's it, Oliver, that's the rule. That's the rule. Write it down at the top of your paper if you're having trouble. Power to a power, you multiply. That's it. That's the rule. All right, 21. Now we have some problems. All right, because this is not an exponent. So what is four cubed? Chicken. Nobody's asking you. I have a... 64. Then what? And then you are amazing. That's it. If you don't know that 4 cubed is 64, you have a little handy dandy calculator and just type in 4 carat 3 and it spits out 64. All right, but everybody here should know that 4 cubed is 64. All right. 23. Now, getting a little bit deeper here, Ryan. So you must do this first. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. So what is that? 4 cubed or 4 squared is 16x to the power of cube. Yep. And then is there really anything you can do to that? Oh, no. No. So your answer is? 16, 16x squared in B cubed. That is it. That is all there is to it. That's it. Now I'm trying to convince some of you that it's not writing them down that's important. You should try 25 right now. And if you get 25 right, then you know what you're doing. All right, Austin, 25. What do I have to do first? Got what is this? Well, that would be six. And then do six times two. Hold on a second. Perfect so far. So now I'm, tell me what's the final answer? Shh. A, uh, the third equals B to the 12. 
Why is it b to the 12th? Go back to number one. Oh, you're adding it, yeah. Come on. That's right. All right, it's easy to put 12 down. It's not what we're doing. We're adding the exponents. Adding the exponents when you multiply. What, Oliver? Why isn't it 8a? Why isn't it 8a? Two. Doing 8 times 3, so you have to do 2 times Why is an 8? I don't even see an 8 anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere 2 to the 3rd. Where does it say 2 to the 3rd? Where does it say 2 to the 3rd? Okay. No, it is not. It is not. It is not. To what is being raised to the third power? What is being raised to the third power? A. 27. All right, Oliver. Okay. Um, so, first you're going to... Cut off the last part where it's two J to the second. I don't know what mean cut off means. I have no idea. Just tell me what negative three squared is, please. Okay, then what? So for twenty five is two A to the third. So we're trying to. Why are we on twenty five? I'm trying to explain my my. I don't want confusion on twenty five. Thank you. My question, because I don't get this. I'm telling you, Oliver, right now, listen. The negative three is being squared. Just listen. Negative nine. No. Nine. Nine J. To the what? Second. Nine J to the what? Second. Power to a power, what do you do? What? So what is it? Four. K to the what? Six. Put that in parentheses. Now do the other one. Okay. Um, eight J to the six plus K to the six. K to the what? K to the six. Why K to the sixth? Oh, K to the third. I don't know why a plus is in there either. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now what? Then we have to simplify. So it would be seventeen J. Nine times eight. Oh, sorry, times seventy-two J. To the K to the K to the nine. That's it. Twenty nine. All right, Aiden. What do I do first? You do. You do two squared, which is four. And Good. You do four x x to the second power y to the second power. Good. Bring the in the right group. That's right. Now what? Then you multiply four and negative three. And? That's negative and, three. And? And four. Yes. Multiply all the numbers together. So that'd be negative 48. Good job. And then it'd be x to the fourth power. And? Y to the sixth. Amazing. That's all there is to it. That's it. We're just following rules. Following rules. All right. I, I don't want you to just write it down. I want you to work the problem. I don't understand why it's 48. What's 4 times 3 times 4? Wait, there's a 4 Y. I don't know. I don't care anything about the Ys. These are numbers. What do I do with the numbers? Oh, we're just multiplying Just the multiplying the numbers. That's literally what that means. Exactly. All right. If you're ever confused, take out the variables. All right, and just do what the numbers say. All right, now I'm on 31, max. 31. What do I have to do first? Okay, so you do. So negative 2 and to the, wait, 
Just keep time. those the same. Just write them down. You're right. I don't have to do anything to those. Two and the fifth. Why the fifth parentheses? Um, negative six and to the third. Why the second? Parentheses. And then what? And then you do n to the third and y to the fifth. Okay. Now what? Flush. Um, the two and the six, do you add them? What? You multiply them. Thank you. Okay. And what is that? You get 12. Okay. And then n to the 12. Good. And y to the 7. No, y to the 10. Come on. It's easy. Easy. All right. Work them out. All right, that was good. 33, Mike. So first you would multiply n to the fourth. Yeah. So it's negative three parentheses. What's two to the fourth? 66. 16. And then it would be x to the fourth. Okay, next one. Oh, four. Would be four x to the. Nope. Ten. Oh, wait. 16 x. Good. X to the 10th. Y to the. Second. Nice. Now. You need to simplify. So, so what am I multiplying? So and then what else? Negative three and no. Um what what multi what three things am I multiplying? The number? Yeah, multiply the numbers. Oh wait, so one, sixteen, and sixteen. What about this? What is this? Negative three, sixteen, sixteen. Yeah. Negative 768. And then what? You get 768x to the 14. And? Y the second. Come on. That's it. All right. That's it. All right. 35. Let's have some more fun. Nora. I know. You weren't here. When you multiply, what do you do to exponents? Um, add, you add them. Like, you add them. So what is 35? Is it 10? I mean, sorry. Is it x to the 9? What's 1 plus 2 plus 7? Oh, one, sorry. <laughs> x to the 10th. That was good, Norm. All right, x to the 10th. All right, here we go. Let's look at third. That's why you get your calculator out on your own and do three times 16 times 16, or just do it right there on the side. Instead of doodling, do the problem. I, oh, there's not a thought on the front either. Okay. All right. 37. Here we go. I'm over. Go. L to the fifth. What? Yes. L to the fifth. K to the third. Mm -hmm. Right? Charlotte, go. Yes. Perfect. 41, go. 20 and 8 to the 9th. 28 to the 9th. Anybody have any problems? 43. I'm listening. Beautiful. What, Oliver? I just wrote it down on my board. It's just kind of going fast for me. But, but Oliver, here's what I'm say. say listen to me. I, 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 you said it politely and kindly, so I'm going to try to be the same. Listen to me. You're smart enough to do seven times one is seven. Five plus two is seven. Two plus three is five. You know what I mean? You're, you're, that's what I'm, you're brilliant. You don't need for me to 
tell you that, right? This is just you writing down the answers because you're smart. You don't need to check them with every single one. You know the rules. Write the answer. Next. Um, Go. I got A, C, to the fifth and D to the what? To the, um, oh, second. Second. Don't forget this is a one and this is a one. Anybody have any issues with that? All right, here we go. 47. Wilson. P to the 36. Yes, I'm happy. P to the 36. All right, 49. You are amazing. Any questions? What, Nora? What, Nora? 51. I'm waiting for you, Ryan, whenever you're ready. Yes, it's a 4B. You are amazing. Anybody have any issues? All right. Now, just because, all right, 53, we're trying to find the area. Who can remind me what's the formula for area of a rectangle? 2L plus. That's per perimeter. Length area. Yeah, LW. Put under 52, length times width. Under 53, that's actually a what? Square. 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 So the area of square is the side squared. So put S squared. What's the formula for every triangle? Right. One half base times height. Okay. So I'm on 53 now. Come on. You know the area of a rectangle? 53 area equals what's the side length? Austin. Yes. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not asking for the answer. I'm saying, what's the side length? Oh, CD. CD. And then you have to square that. So what is that? Yeah, but we're going to say from now on, C squared, D squared. All right, I understand what you mean, C2, D2. All right, sounds like a robot or something. All right. It sounds like I'm sorry. Thank you for the information, Wilson. All right. Now, with that being said, shh, 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 shh. with that being said, guys, the rules, if you don't know the rules, you can't do well from now on, all right? This is the beginning of the rules, all right? Tomorrow, we're going to learn division, but I'm sure everybody here can say, well, if multiplication was addition, division is probably what? Subtraction. Subtraction. That's how simple it is, all right? That's it. That's it. All right. So with that being said, now take the time quietly and do the rest of them. Your job is to do now the evens quietly. Get out a calculator if you need it.